Now, since then, we have grown and matured uh, politically, and our constitutions have developed to the point where we have now devolved powers, lots of good devolved powers, that makes Gibraltar almost, almost self-governing. Self -governing. And um, we, we believe that that should remain, and that therefore, all that remains for us is to get into Westminster to be fully recognized as a member of the British family. And that is with having representation in Westminster. And what form would you like to see this representation take? For example, does it have to be an MP in Westminster or would you be happy with another form of representation? Yes, I am sure there could be various forms for representation. Uh, naturally, we would like to have our own voice, but uh, that may not be um, very practical because they are they're, they're thinking of reducing the number of MPs in Westminster. Therefore, there's going to be a fight for, for the number of seats. So therefore, we are not worried and are very concerned if we share a constituency in uh, Great Britain like we did for, for Europe. In Europe, we shared our constituency with the southwest of, of, uh, of England. So, and that worked pretty well. And who are you representing? Is there a committee? And if so, how many people are on it? Uh, the committee at the moment is about, we are 13 people. Uh, we have not gone out to the public until now to gather support and enroll, enroll uh, the, the, the support that we need because we have been working for the last five years silently with the government. Now we are a little bit encouraged uh, so I feel confident that we should go uh, you know, uh, forward and ask the people what they think. And the issue that has brought this to a head is the Brexit issue. Because the Brexit issue has meant that we will lose our link that we had, parliamentary link that we had with Britain for Europe. So through the Southwest, we had a link with, with, uh, with Europe and therefore in, in an indirect, very indirect way with uh, the parliament in, in, in England. So uh, that will be, you know, create a black hole uh, that we lose, we will lose that representation in Europe and we lose the link with Great Britain. So therefore we want to restore that link again. And the website's just been launched. What's the idea behind it? The launching is naturally to create public awareness, to inform the people how the work that has gone behind this, which is five years, like I've said before, five years of dealing with uh, government members, the chief minister, the deputy chief minister, uh, the, attorney, the present attorney general, and we met with them on several occasions. And you mentioned there was a petition. Tell me a bit about that. Yeah, the petition is accompanied with our website, but soon we will issue it, you know, we will uh, launch it on its own. But uh, we want that petition to serve as an indication of the following that we may have for people to join as loyal British Gibraltarians.